In this video, we're going to look at the use of the control button shortcut in Project Explorer to help you identify items that are listed in this window um, over here in the AutoCAD viewport. So this is really important when you're looking at information in the Project Explorer window and you need to identify where that is in the AutoCAD viewport. So the way it works is that when you select an item in Project Explorer, if you press and hold the control button, you'll see that in this case, the alignment is being highlighted in the viewport. And if I switch to this alignment, you'll see that that changes to highlight the other alignment. Now this feature is context sensitive, so the result that you get when you um, use this control button depends on what kind of element you've selected in the viewport. So going back to Second Street, if I change the focus to the calculated stations in the lower part of the panel, and hit the control button, you'll see that this is now showing me the location of those two selected points. If I move to the Alignment Entities tab, you can see that the highlighting changes to indicate the currently selected entity or entities. If I move to the Alignment Point of Intersections tab, you can see that it shows me the current location of the selected point of intersection. And if I go down to the profile, you can see that again with calculated stations or changes, I see individual points. And if I go to profile entities, then it will show me the extent of that profile entity in plan on the alignment within the viewport. So if I go across to corridors, you'll see that there's some other features here. For example, if I select the corridor list, you can see that it will now highlight the entire corridor when I hit the control button. If I go to an individual feature line, you can see that the individual feature line selected will be highlighted in the viewport. So I can easily identify those points in the viewport. If I go across to individual feature line points, you can see that using the control button selects those points in the viewport. But equally, if I go up here to the cross section view, you can see that hitting the control button will indicate where that current section is in the viewport. And as I scroll through here, chainage by chainage, you can see that I can identify exactly where I am in the AutoCAD viewport. For pipe networks, you can see that when I have the pipe network list selected, then it will highlight the entire pipe network in the viewport. If I go down to the structures list, again, using the control button, highlights those individual structures in the viewport. Um, the same with pipes. And with the pipe run, I can highlight individual locations on that pipe run. So you can see that the currently selected part is being highlighted and then the individual location within that pipe. And again, if I go up to the profile view for pipe networks and pick a small section of the pipe network, you can see that if I use the control button, it will highlight the areas in which those parts um, extend within the viewport. And that's all. Thank you for watching.